Good day fellow hunters, this is Jared Lantern with another prop review video for you today. Uh, today I will be reviewing the uh, Pumpkin Jack Fogger accessory. Uh, this comes from uh, Morris Costumes and I purchased this from the website jet.com. Uh, that is actually a website that I've been purchasing um, a lot of my props from uh, recently. They have uh, really, really awesome prices, and you typically get free shipping, so that's cool too. Um, this guy has been um, available through different uh, retailers, and he's not necessarily, I mean, for what you get, he's not necessarily a cheap prop. Um, I'd imagine buying this at like a normal retail store for maybe 20 bucks. Uh, and to me, that's what it's worth. Uh, but I've seen it priced upwards of about like six, uh, 50, 60 bucks, which is, you know, definitely not worth what you're actually getting. And I'll, I'll go over what you're getting in just a second. Um, with a 15% uh, off coupon and the free shipping, like I mentioned already, I think I paid just over $20 for him. So um, it's not too bad, but um, let's go ahead and uh, just take a look at what uh, you get with this guy. So obviously, first and foremost, you do get the jack-o'-lantern head itself that um, comes with a, a light on the inside. And the light is just basically a little plastic dome-covered uh, light powered by two AA batteries. And I'm actually pretty happy with the fact that it's not uh, like a color-changing LED, that's just a uh, regular uh, clear light. So I like that. Um, you get two hands, and the hands are pretty well detailed, um, and kind of like life-size hands, I guess. And then, of course, you get the body of the character. He's meant to kind of just lie on its stomach, so to speak, um, and then they tell you to just kind of... Uh, make him more full by putting in um, some newspaper and I just use like a just a rolled up blanket to put in there uh, for now um, I might want to do something that's a little more permanent so I don't have to worry about uh, stuffing him every time I want to use it you're supposed to stuff the arms as well which I did not do um, but I wanted to for at least the video I wanted to stuff the uh, body and then of course you get the connector hose and that goes from the back of the head to your uh, fog machine, which of course is not included. And you know, it says that the uh, the fog hose will fit most uh, like 1,000 watt foggers. Um, other uh, prop, props that I've got in the past that have like a, a connector for a fog machine usually has like a little like metal device where you can strap it around the nozzle of the fogger and this one just kind of like an open kind of attachment that you have to uh, put there onto the nozzle of the fogger not exactly sure if that is the appropriate way to do it this came with absolutely no instructions other than just to connect it to your fog machine but um, it seems that worked so far I'll have to do you know rig it up with some uh, with some duct tape or something um, uh, for time to dis uh, when come time to display it but uh, for now just for this I'm gonna and this is not the fog machine I'm gonna use for this prop this is kinda like heavy duty more for uh, scene setting more than just uh, a prop accessory so let's go ahead and um, dim the lights here so we can get more of a full effect with the uh, fog Okay, unfortunately, this is the best I could do with uh, it being daylight outside. Um, so it's not that uh, dark in here, but we'll go ahead and uh, turn on the fog and give it a shot.
So there it is, you guys. The pumpkin jack um, in action. The the very first time that I uh, clicked the remote, <laughs> the hose did come undone over there, so it kind of blasted out the end. Um, so I just had to put a water bottle there to hold it in place. Um, so like I said, I will have to rig it up with some sort of tape uh, come time for display. Uh, after the initial blast of fog, the effect that it has uh, lingering around um, the face is actually pretty cool, which is about just as cool as the um, initial blast of fog that comes through. And like I said, it's a very simple prop. It's something that you could rig up with pretty much any jack-o'-lantern head that's made out of plastic that you have. Um, it's just been really difficult for me to find some jack-o'-lantern props for my field of screams. I won't be calling it that, but you know what I'm talking about. Uh, field of screams type of a um, setting. Um, you know, I, I have pumpkin nester. I am kind of on the fence about getting the corn stalker prop. Um, so I'm I'm really on the lookout for cool looking jack lantern props and. Um, I thought this one was pretty cool for the price that I got it for. I uh, definitely picked it up um, based on the price alone. You know, um, not the most uh, uh, intense, uh, intricate prop that I could have got, but you know, for the price and for the fact that I'm in need of some uh, jack o' lantern pumpkin props, I'm happy with this one. So it's kind of hard to find. Uh, creepy jack lantern props usually when you search for them you get like kind of more cutesy type of uh, pumpkins and jack lanterns and you know cute scarecrows with pumpkin heads so finding a creepy one um is kind of a it's kind of a task so i'm happy with this guy on a scale of one to ten um i'll give him a i'll give him a four like i said i you know it's just it's just a plastic pumpkin with uh, the clothes and the hands and the hose so it's not an elaborate prop by any means um, I, I'd recommend it to anybody that is looking for a creepy pumpkin prop um, but I know for a fact that there are much better uh, fog accessory props out there but I chose this one again because it is a jack-o'-lantern so you guys thank you so much for watching if you like what you're seeing please like comment and subscribe and as always Happy hunting.